inconvenient to have to go to a petrol station when you can just charge at home. So I am here with Rob in his garage. This is where he plugs in his Tesla and he has solar power on his roof. But look at this over here. We have not one, but two Tesla power walls. Look at that. Look, we've got another one down here. What was that? The whole capacity is 27 kilowatts. Yep. We have 13.5 kilowatts each. And when was the last time you had an electricity bill? Uh, never. <laughs> <laughs> because previously we were on Amber, which is where you can export your solar, the verbal, you know, the wholesale rates. We found here we're stuck with Endeavour, and you're still controlled by the local monopoly, unfortunately. So it's whatever they want, what they're willing to pay is what you pay regardless. So we found with, the, with these, overall, we probably have bills about zero, but now we're with Ovo Energy, and that's why they're buzzing right now, because they're charging at the moment. So they're not only charging off the solar, they're also charging off the grid for free. How big is solar no. array do you have? Uh, 9.6 kilowatts. Right. And now being winter solstice, we probably make about 7 kilowatts total for the day. Right. But most of that go, almost all that goes into here. The house runs on about 1 kilowatt per hour, right. like pretty much all day or night because we've changed all the light bulbs to LEDs, put door seals on, yeah. made the place efficient as we can. Yeah. Yeah. Also gone to induction cooking rather than gas. Yes, but at the moment, these are charging right now for free from the sun as well as off the grid. And at 2 p.m., the grid will shut off because it's scheduled in the Tesla app. And these will run the house all the way through to midnight. Actually, they will probably run all the way through to 11 o'clock again the next day.